Busia administration that ruled Ghana from the late 1969 to January 1972 produced a laissez-faire policy and upheld fundamental human rights and liberties. It is most pertinent to note that it remains the only regime in Ghana's political history that before the Third and Second Republics in which nobody was detained for political reasons, freedom of the press flourished and the opposition spoke freely both in parliament and through several newspapers, including the popular spokesman, which criticized bitterly. Busia allowed it all to happen. The government rightly saw rural development as crucial to economic growth, in that it will, first of all, lay the foundation for self-sufficiency in food. Secondly, it will prevent the drift of young men to urban areas in search of non-existent white-collar jobs. Thirdly, it will boost the cocoa industry, the backbone of the nation's economy, by keeping the farmers on the land and making them happy and content, and also providing the roads and transportation that will make easy the cartage of cocoa and foodstuffs from the hinterland to the towns and cities. But